I've called at Sainsbury's because I've been saving up my nectar points. So I had five pounds worth of nectar points. And I got bought two of these hair colours. Two, they were £12 each, or two for £16. So I thought, well, while they've got, got those on special offer, I'll get those. And they've still got this katsu curry sauce, 30p. And I do like this. I have already called and got a couple more. Uh, I do remember I got some a few weeks ago. Anyway, they've still got it at 30p. So I got three of those. And again, it was, uh, well, it was 10 to 8. And uh, they were just reducing things. Well, as I picked those up and gone for those, they were just starting to reduce things to 10 pence. So I thought, right. And the same chap was there who said, if you find anything dated the 15th, bring it to me and uh, I'll reduce it to 10 pence. So I did. I got these Taste the Difference green beans instead of 150 down to 10 pence. The mixed seedless grapes, I actually didn't see them. And then I went round again and I, fa I found them. There were, uh, there were quite a few of those. Anyway, I got two. Those were 375 down to 10 pence. And as I say, I got two. The cooking blackberries, those were 285 down to 10 pence. Um, mangoes, I got two lots of those, two lots of two. They were instead of 230 down to 10 pence. The avocados were 165 down to 10 pence. Um, I got some more cranberry sauce that I'm actually taking to her. I'm going to my, uh, a cousin's for Christmas dinner. I actually am I'm going to meet a cousin tomorrow for lunch. So I'm going to give him one of these um, grapes, packets of grapes. They've got these mixed free range eggs again. Lovely, one pound sixty-six. Let's just see if I can open them. Some quite big eggs in there. Free range, one pound sixty-six. I'd got this in my in my basket, and I can't. Was it sixty-nine? I think it was it been reduced to sixty-nine p. And anyway, I saw that in my basket and said I can reduce that to ten pence if you want. I said yes, please. And I'd also picked this up, and he said, "Do you want that reduced into ten pence?" I said, "Yes, please." Salmon, two chunky salmon fillets, Hebridean, seven pounds down to ten pence. So all in all, with my five pound, five pounds worth of uh, nectar points, the whole thing cost me five pound, uh, fifteen pound, fifteen p. Lovely. Get those. Salmon and green beans. Little pot stuffing balls. See what we can make with that. Fifteen pound fifteen P. I'm just cooking the last of my homegrown potatoes along with a sweet potato. And I've, it's just enough water to cover them. And I thought what I'd do with the green beans that I got reduced to 10 pence is lay that on top to steam them really. So I'll let these cook down for a few minutes and then I'll put the green beans on top. And what I'm going to have, well use up because it wants using up because it's the, uh, today, the, um, this is the next day from when I got those things reduced. So I'm going to use the salmon up that I got reduced to 10 pence. I'm going to cook both portions and have one cold. But do you know what I have a mind to do? These mangoes that I got reduced to 10 pence, 
they are quite hard and I'm thinking I've got some coconut water open so I thought what I'd do is I'd chop one of these mangoes up quite small and then cook it in a little bit of coconut water and then add half a sachet of the katsu sauce and see what that's like with the salmon. I'm going to grill the salmon. Plenty over for another meal. The, the mango wasn't as um, hard as I thought it was. So we'll just pop over some of this beautiful mango and katsu sauce. So that's my lunch today. The salmon was 5p. The mango was 5p and I've got some left. Potatoes were free because I grew them. The, the green beans were 5p because I've got half of those left. A bit of um, sweet potato katsu sauce that's on sale at 30p and I've used half a sachet of that and for pudding I've just got three of those lovely spicy biscuits from little a little bit of cheese and a few grapes luxury for less I thought I'd come out and see how many potatoes I've got from the um, Christmas potatoes that I planted and I'm quite surprised really some of them are quite little I'll put you down and bring you back when I've rummaged through. Well, that's it. I didn't expect any really, because it's been so wet. One or two were just hollow. I've thrown them away. And two of these have got tiny little holes in them. But not bad really, I didn't expect anything. I've been cutting and pruning back the blueberries make them more manageable while they're in these pots and I've pruned the gooseberry bush and I've just put a couple of the prunings in that container there we'll see if they take I've not put anything on them really like hormone rooting powder or anything if they take they take anyway just a little gardening update there. Shortest day today, December the 21st. I do look forward to the sun coming back. I suppose if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's the longest day. I've had a good week though. All those bargains that I got from Sainsbury's and then filming that lovely steam train and my cousin took me for a uh, pub lunch afterwards. I had the fish cujo and he had the carvery of the day, I think it was. And I've just come back from meeting a friend of mine I've known for over 20 years. We've met for a coffee, halfway between us, um, in this lovely hotel. Beautiful Christmas tree.
ya. So when are you coming back? wanted to wish you all a happy Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you manage to be with the ones you love and if you're working remember to take some time for yourself and a heartfelt thank you to all my subscribers, everybody who's watched my videos, left a comment, a thumbs up. I know people, some of my subscribers and some of my viewers watch just the Friday videos and some people just watch the Sunday videos. That's okay, whatever, whatever you want to do is fine with me. But some people watch both. Oh, squirrel. Anyway, many thanks and I hope you have a relaxing holiday. Take care.